Hey there, world. Thanks for tuning in to this latest of my guitar reviews. I think hopefully it's going to be the last one for a while. I keep buying guitars, but anyways, um, trading them and buying them. But uh, let's get right to it. What guitar is this? It is the Simon & Patrick Woodland Pro Folk Mahogany. Um, beautiful guitar. Look at that. Slotted headstock. High gloss finish all around. Look at the grain on that. Nice, uh, I think that's some sort of maple in there. But anyways, let's get right to the specs. It is, uh, again, Simon Patrick Woodland Pro from their uh, Woodland Pro series. It's all solid mahogany. I mean, everything. You name it. Back, sides, top, neck, headstock, everything. Solid mahogany. Um, the uh, uh, bridge is rosewood. We got a Tusk uh, a compensated saddle with your typical, I don't know what kind of pins those are. Um, uh, mahogany and possibly maple uh, wood rosette around the hole. Um, uh, rosewood fretboard, a typical three or four millimeter mother of pearl markers on the neck. Uh, tusk nut, slotted headstock. Uh, again, solid mahogany with, I'm not sure if this is black, plastic, or ebony, I don't know what it is, but it's polished up black with the Simon & Patrick logo on there, with the beautiful uh, Butterbean uh, all-chrome tuners on there, just uh, beautiful, and they, they um, I don't know what the gear ratio is on there, I can't even tell by looking at it, but they're beautiful to tune, very smooth, it's got um, black, or uh, chalk, dark walnut or chocolate brown binding on both uh, sides and it's got I guess that's white plastic purfling around the front and I think that's everything uh, this one's just the acoustic guitar version no pickup or anything um, so the whole guitar is high gloss except for the neck the neck is uh, matte which is uh, I think designed for for comfort because it's just um, your hand slides on it a lot nicer than if it were high gloss. Um, and uh, the slotted headstock, why the slotted headstock? For those that don't know, um, a normal headstock, the strings would go from the nut out to the post, but on a slotted headstock, you can see that the string comes off the nut and down at a, at a sharper angle. Um, what that does is it puts more tension on the strings, which causes the the whole guitar, because there's more uh, tension on the strings, it, it uh, causes the, the volume and the frequencies of each string to pop out uh, a bit better, a bit more. So what the slotted headstock does for a small folk, this is a folk size guitar, by the way, uh, which I think is the equivalent of a double O from Martin, I think. Uh, maybe a little smaller than a triple O and the same size or maybe a touch bigger than a double O. It's about exactly the same size as a classical guitar body. and. Um, but yeah, what the slotted headstock does is it, it, it pumps out more frequency and volume uh, from, from the same, uh, from the guitar. If it were not a slotted headstock, it'd be a slightly quieter and the frequencies uh, wouldn't pop as much. Um, don't think I'm forgetting anything. Um, so let's get, uh, let's get to the, how does it sound? Well, I'll play a few things for you as usual. Just play a few songs so you hear the guitar sounds like by some guy attempting to play guitar and sing songs on a guitar. Uh, so I'll play a few songs, we'll do a little bit of instrumental at the end and uh, that'll be it. So, uh, yeah. Break it to them gently When you tell my mom sustain on very balanced guitar I uh, I hope you can hear it through uh, I've got a, I'm using a blue Yeti mic here condenser mic it's a stereo condenser mic and I'm about 
a foot and a half away from um, the mic, so hopefully you can hear all the frequencies. try something different. finger picking not the greatest finger picker as I've said before I only use two or three fingers but uh, we'll give it a shot Try one more picking song for you. See if you remember this one or if you even know this one. Let's see. Hey. 
messed up the end of it there, but let's see how that sounds. Let's try something in E. but not least uh, I'm not a lead guy but I'm gonna do a little try attempt a little bit of lead just so you hear a little bit what it sounds like playing a little bit of lead on it I'm sure some people would use it for that slightly harder pick so I'm buzzing out the strings a little bit but uh, my soft pick is getting too rounded at the end so I keep missing strings so let's try one more thing the guitar again that's the Simon and Patrick Woodland Pro Folk Mahogany slotted headstock um, beautiful guitar um, of all the folk size guitars I've ever played I settled on this one because this one is fantastic it's so balanced that the mahogany gives you the for such a small guitar it gives you the the bottom end lows but sparkly highs without sign they sound very earthy but sparkly highs great mid-range great volume uh, the volume and the frequencies all pop because of this slotted headstock and the slotted headstock actually looks really sweet to boot I, I just love the way it looks oh, it's such a comfortable beautiful guitar to play um, uh, speaking of comfort yeah it's a short scale so it's 24.84 inches scale so just just a little bit longer than 24 and 3 quarter inch scale. Great couch guitar, great stool guitar, great. Um, so yeah, I'm saying a whole bunch of nice things about it. Um, but really, that's the truth. I mean, uh, uh, if you go and pick up one of these guitars, you'll see what I mean. So um, yeah, I, I love this guitar, so I'm a little biased. But uh, if I can be objective, I would say go try one. Don't listen to me. Let this thing speak for itself. I uh, hope that helps if you're uh, looking uh, into these things and uh, you found this video because you're searching. So thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Have a great day or night and God bless.